Hi everyone, I'm Mark. Well, this is the last video before the Christmas holiday season. So let's just start by taking a look at the fruit. See, it was up earlier about a quarter of a percent at 6,965. Still up for grabs as to whether it'll end the year above or below the 7,000 level. So I thought it might be worth checking up on how some of the stocks I've mentioned over the past year have been doing. I'm generally, genuinely amazed to see that some of my ideas have really soared and by amounts that are really quite incredible. The best performing stock is Gear for Music. Now this is the online music instruments retailer. I mentioned this all the way back on the 10th of May when it was priced at £1.32. Today it's at £4.14. That's a whopping gain of 213%. Second was online fashion retailer Boohoo. Now I brought this to you on April the 26th when it was at 48.9p. Today it's up more than 160% at £1.33. Third best was Fruitsy 100 Minor Rio Tinto, which I first mentioned on Feb 17th when it was £19.20. Today it's at £30.60, a gain of more than 60%. Many others, including companies like Just Eat, up 48% since I covered it on May the 3rd. BP, up 40% since I brought it to you on the 16th of March. And among the worst performers were some of the stocks I really wasn't that keen on. Fast Jet, which I mentioned all the way back on March the 7th, down 73%. And Stagecoach, down 17% since I mentioned it back in April. Now, of course, some of my likes were also down, and some of the ones... I didn't like, I really rallied. I got it really wrong on G4S. It's really shot up, as has Standard Chartered. So I wasn't really keen on the outlook for those companies. And I'm really miffed that M&S hasn't done better. Also, Audio Boom, which is actually my risk play stock. But let's see what happens next year. I'm still pleased that so many of the ones on my watch list have done so well. Now, also throughout the year, we featured a lot of big bosses. And my number one rogue boss has to be Philip Green, well, a despicable former owner of BHS. We all know what happened to that. His greed really showed us the fat, putrid, ugly face of capitalism. Really un-British, his rampant love of money. I hope he enjoys his Christmas, knowing that many of the people that used to work for him are now suffering over the collapse of BHS and its pension hall. He hasn't even had the decency to put it in his own name. I hear it's all his wealth in his wife's name. A genuine, genuine modern Scrooge. Really not yet been redeemed, but let's see what happens in 2017. And at the very opposite, far away end of that scale, my favourite boss has to be, well, the boss, the Queen. Enduring, strong, consistent and reliable. The longest reigning British monarch in history. You really can't top that. And she is worth a whopping one billion plus to the UK economy. Well, I hope you all have a nice Christmas. Enjoy the festive season. And remember, it's only money. I'll see you next year.